going to be talking about Death of General Wolfe by Benjamin West from 1771. It's a painting that oil on canvas. The scene is depicting the Battle of Quebec uh, during the French and Indian War, which happened in 1759. You can see all the smoke on the right, which is smoke from the cannons. And you can kind of see, breaking through the smoke, the Quebec Cathedral. Although it first appears to be night because of the dark smoke, it's actually only mid-morning. It looks like there are so many people around him that are just really concerned about his death, but that this isn't what really happened. Do you know what really happened? No, yes. Um, he was actually sniped, like alone. He was standing alone, and he died slowly and painfully. Okay. Alone. No, I don't know. <laughs> but he definitely died alone. There is no way that there is all of this attention paid to him. This is just to romanticize his death a lot. Although this painting is not a romantic painting, it's neoclassical. Yeah, it's why, neoclassical. Why is it well, because neoclassical paintings often want to encor encourage like um, a sense of nationalism, like in um, like in the painting, the Oath of the Harashi. It was trying to show that pride for your country is more important than anything else. Also, there is diagonal composition in this painting. You can see all of the lines point directly to General Wolf. West. General Wolf. No, ben. General Wolf. Oh, Wolf. By Benjamin West. Yes. Yeah, um, Benjamin West was, uh, he was an American, American painter, but he was largely taught in England, which uh, kind of makes it uh, a sort of a new thing because he was one of the first artists, uh, American artists, to be actually uh, known and talked about and even renowned in uh, the European sort of art scene. He arranges the, the composition in thirds. It kind of reflects of the old uh, triptych of the High Renaissance. This is also kind of, it reminds me of the painting Dying Gaul and also of Michelangelo's Pieta. When Jesus was on Mary's lap in that dead position, his body is curved in an F shape, and and he's definitely dead. He doesn't look like, like sleeping or anything. It's really clear, which wasn't always the case in earlier artworks. Having uh, the neoclassicism, uh, it, even though it's a neoclassical painting, uh, it has very baroque, uh, theme, lighting, and it's very theatrical. This battle, let's talk more about the battle. It was very short, and it was it was really not an organized battle. The French and Indian War, which was not fought between French and Indians, it was fought between the French and Indians against the British, and the British actually won. So this painting is also representative of the triumph of Protestantism over Catholicism. The, the flags, point to General Wolf, and if you look, if you draw a line from everyone's gaze, they all lead directly to him. Every single figure in the painting focuses their attention directly on them. Let's talk about the anatomy in this, in this picture. The anatomy that General Wolf is placed uh, is very, uh, has the S-shaped curve that we see before. You can see the Native American on the ground, and he, I would say that his muscles are really well defined. Yeah, really cool. And he looks real and not flat. I agree. Another thing about uh, the painting and neoclassicism as well is we see a shift in art from mostly uh, a shift in art from religious to nationalism and the triumph of the state over the individual and a really uh, 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 instillment of these civic uh, values and ideals. Do, 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 do.